I am so sick of being sick. For those of you who don't know, I have Ellis Dallas syndrome, which is really hard to say, EDS, and I have POTS. POTS is, is probably my main issue. I can manage the other one, but POTS is a nightmare. Whew, okay. I have been having so many flare-ups and it has been getting me down. I'm already like, am I gonna put this video up or not? I don't know, but let's just keep going. I've been waiting to be 100% before I would come back to film, but I'm starting to think that that is just never gonna happen. At least not the 100% that I was before, which is kind of hard to come to terms with, to be honest. But I feel like not being creative and not creating is actually just making me feel more down. So I feel like I just have to start being okay with my limitations. But I'm also afraid what I do end up creating isn't going to be good enough because of my limitations. But I'm really just trying to set myself a goal to be okay with whatever those limitations are and to still allow myself to be creative and to create things without that voice in my head coming into play and telling me that I'm just not good enough. And I really do appreciate you standing by me and being here. Anybody who's ever subscribed to this channel, it it means so much to me. And at the same time, I'm embarrassed to admit, and I'm embarrassed to admit that I'm embarrassed to admit, but I'm embarrassed to admit that this is not what I wanted. This is not how this whole channel was supposed to work out. And it's really hard to come to terms with the fact that I just can't be the ideal perfected version of myself and my work. It just, it just can't occur and that's really difficult. I absolutely love teaching. It is my main goal in life, I love it. And I know that I help people in real life, but when it comes to doing it online, I feel like it has to be packaged perfectly. There's just a lot of pressure for it to be in this like perfect little box and produced so flawlessly. And it's really hard to have this ideal version of what you want to achieve in your life and realize that you have the limitations that you just can't do that. It's a really tough hand to be dealt when you are a perfectionist, but you also have a chronic illness. Because when you want everything to be perfect, but you also have limitations, it is just a nightmare. And Jamie French, she did a video that I still go back to. And I will say she's a lot better at expressing herself than I am. So maybe go and watch her video. And then I thought, well, maybe this video might make somebody feel a little bit better if I express how I'm feeling too. But I would still recommend going to watch her video. Is that glue? I got glue on my eyelids. Not that I'm anywhere close to how Jamie expresses herself and also how creative she is. But maybe you'll take something positive from this video because I certainly took a lot of inspiration from that video and just how open and honest she was. I feel like I'm dealing with two things. One is the limitations of trying to do a job that I love and the second is just living a regular life, just a normal life with limitations. When you have a chronic illness, it really is a full-time job. You have to constantly be aware of what your body is doing and your limitations, your levels, and just processing everything in real time as well as preparing for things that are going to be ahead of you. I recently worked really hard to get myself well enough to go to our friend's wedding. It was kind of touch and go there for a second. I didn't think that I'd be well enough to go. And weddings are really hard for me because I do get kind of wrapped up in the joy and the celebration of it all. And I do forget to keep an eye and keep track on my levels and what I can and can't do. And that level of freedom is just something you can't afford to do when you have a chronic illness. Because you take your eye off the ball for even a second, everything can become a lot more difficult. I don't think I can discuss what really happened at the wedding. It was beautiful, it was amazing, but I can't talk about it without my heart like, like pounding. But I literally went from having the best time to having one of the worst times and calling my family in America and calling my family in Ireland because I was away for the wedding. And I'm just so lucky that Davey was there and he is an angel and he was 
supportive and amazing as always, but I needed to call my family to support him as much as myself. Not that he needed it because he dealt with it really well, but it was a really scary time. And it's, it's scary how you can go from having the best time to having a really bad time, just like that. You're on the phone to your family at 4 a.m., just unsure of whether or not you need to go to the hospital, whether or not this is something that professionals need to take over or whether it's something you can deal with. And as someone who is very reliant on themselves and does not like to ask anybody to step up and help, that was really hard to actually be like, I don't know if professionals need to take over at this point because I'm really struggling. Up until that point, both me and Davey, we both forgot that I had a chronic illness and I felt so free and I was happy and I was enjoying myself. And I just, I looked at him and I said, uh oh, <laughs> and that's usually the sign that something is really wrong. And then it hit me like a ton of bricks. And I worked so hard to be able to go and it is taking me a full week to recover. And that's really unfortunate. But I would do it all over again because you have to try and find some way to live your life with a chronic illness. And I will have to go now and get some tests done just to make sure there's not any lasting damage because of this flare up that happened so suddenly and so scarily and I am a little bit scared about what they're going to tell me and I thought about waiting until all of that was done before I came back to doing videos but I'm just starting to think I'm starting to realize that things are never gonna be better I'm never gonna be better I'm always gonna be getting slightly worse and so I have to just come to terms with that there's never gonna be a right time to come back to work or come back to life or come back to the thing that you love, whatever hobby you might have as well. Like there's never gonna be a right time when you have a chronic illness because time does not go by in the same way that it does for everybody else. Maybe somebody will find this helpful. I'm not sure. Maybe someone will feel just a little bit less alone in their struggle. Or maybe I am just trying to seek out a little bit of comfort in the fact that I'm doing something that I love to do and I'm able to do it. Maybe that's the reason why I'm here. I don't know. And it's okay to be sad that things are never gonna be better and that this is the new normal. But you just have to trust that some days are gonna be better than others and nothing stays that bad for too long. And all of this is just to say that I've missed doing this because I've been doing it for 10 plus years. It makes me feel like myself when I feel very different from how I used to be. And so I'm gonna just try to continue to do it and it won't be perfect and it may not be to the standard that I wish that it could be, but I think I just have to try and find some way of being okay with that. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and to tell you to be kind to yourself because I need to be kind to myself too because I've been a bully to myself the last week and I hope to see you in a video really, really soon. My makeup is not perfect and my hair looks a mess, but we did it. <laughs> and now I wanna go call Davy and cry because <laughs> I actually did a video.